Greetings once again, it's Prophet Tom and we're back to start our day in the Word of God. The soldier who goes to battle returns from the heavy encounters of war. His clothes are dirty and may be torn from combat. Emotionally, he is drained, and all that he wants to do is go and hide. For years, perhaps, he is haunted by the memories of that war. Sadly, today, that is a picture of many Christians. When we look around our cities, we see there are thousands, if not millions, of believers uh, who are scarred and broken uh, because uh, they have failed in war and they are haunted uh, by the effects of spiritual warfare and they no longer go to church. Uh, but then there are those who are in the same boat and they're going to church uh, but do not have the victory that God promises. So what does the Bible have to say about this? We continue our study in the book of Acts in chapter 14 and verse 8 it says, And in Lystra a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting. You know, as I just said, this is a picture of the church today. The church is without strength, without supernatural ability, a crippled from his mother's womb who had never walked. What a, a die situation. What a, a, an emotional, a, a concerning situation do we see here. A grown man who had a disability that stopped him from functioning the way that God ordained for him to function. And as we said, this is a picture of the church. How should the church function? How should the church operate? How should the church be living in this 21st century amidst all of this coronavirus, amidst all of the pressures uh, that are around us today? How should the church be functioning? We read on this man heard that's important you see the church is not hearing today and i'm going to enlarge on that in a moment uh, this man heard paul speaking paul observed him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed said with a loud voice stand up straight on your feet and he leaped and walked the challenge before us today church is living we need to be living in the supernatural and not lose that we started that way salvation was a super natural event salvation transformed our lives but something happened along the way that we lost the supernatural that god ordained uh, galatians 1 and verse 6 says this uh, i marvel that you are turning away so soon from the calling uh, uh, from him who called you in the grace of Christ uh, to a different 
gospel. I believe that we today in the church of Jesus Christ uh, in some ways are following a different gospel. God ordained, I say it again, God ordained for the believer to live in the supernatural. Or another way of saying that is God ordained for the believer today to live in the presence of God. And when we are not living in the supernatural, we are not living in the presence of of God. They both mean the same thing. To live in the presence of God is to see supernatural power flowing in you and out of you. Uh, Paul re reveals a, a powerful key here in these verses. Uh, that is, we must live in the supernatural. We as believers, we can have great religious programs. We can have great mission programs. We can have great buildings and exciting buildings. We can have great teaching programs. But at the end of the day, if we live a supernatural life as Christ did, we will invade, listen, we will invade the impossible. And that is what Christ meant when he gave the great commission to the believers. Let's go again to Luke chapter 24 as we begin to close our session this morning and in verse 45 it says these words and he opened their understanding you see this is where we're failing today. We're not understanding the revelations that God has for us. But we're going to open this as we look at the supernatural Christian, the supernatural life. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures, that they may see the rima in the word of God. Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it may, it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to raise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in the name to all, in his name, to all nations beginning in Jerusalem. But your and your you are witnesses of these things. Now listen, behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. That is the supernatural church. That is the supernatural. But listen, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endured with power from on high until the supernatural comes upon you. Our time is gone. Go so quick in these morning sessions. But listen, church, listen, my friend, as you go forth today, go forth in the presence of God. Go forth in the power of God. God ordained it. That when he gave this great commission, he told them that they were to wait until they had the supernatural, until they moved and lived and operated in the supernatural. Let's aim to do that this week, my, my friends. Make sure you get before God and be filled with his presence. We'll enlarge upon this again tomorrow. God bless you.